Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Mr Chris Thompson, the regional manager of Samaritan's Purse. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. This year has been a very exciting year for all of us in Scotland and can I take the opportunity to thank you for all your efforts in promoting this great nation. I was asked recently, is God interested in us? Well, certainly human beings have always wanted their own way. And maybe the question should be, do we depend on God anymore? We desire knowledge which breeds independence. And that started in Eden with a decision over good and evil. Today, our desire of knowledge is vast. And in the scientific realm, this has exploded into man's pursuit for the origins of the universe. More and more these days, God is excluded from so many things and people don't see the need to involve God anymore because man knows better. But as man's knowledge solved humanity's basic problems of poverty, injustice, war, cruelty, disease, love for money, they're all still with us. Over the years that I've been involved with Samaritan's Purse, I've seen some remarkable things and met some wonderful, inspirational people who live in a close relationship with God and live out the message of the Good Samaritan. It's a very simple parable from the Bible, and the basic message is love, respect, care, and to look after one another, no matter who they are. In the next few months, thousands of volunteers throughout the UK will be helping with Operation Christmas Child Shoebox Appeal. And we've been challenged this year to send over one million gift-filled shoeboxes to children who really do need them from the UK. And one great part of my job is going round all the processing depots in Scotland and meeting passionate, committed volunteers who give up their time to make sure each individual box that a child gets will demonstrate a powerful, loving message from across the globe. As an organisation, we depend on God for guidance, for wisdom, for grace. Everything we do is God-centred, with volunteers demonstrating how powerful that message is. Depending on God is not a weakness. It's a partnership with an eternal dimension. We all demonstrate our faith differently, but giving freely and lovingly to help another person in need is something that can change the life of the recipient, but it also may challenge the observant watcher to go and do likewise. Maybe if we did involve God more in our decisions, we would be able to help more people to fulfill man's greatest need, which is to be loved. Thank you. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 10832.